Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar run for the latest UKV, half of the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as things are slowly quietening down over the next couple of days. Still will be some showers in places, some may be still heavy and thundery but nowhere near to the extent that we've seen over the past few days with things for most turning drier and slowly a little bit warmer as with more sunshine, with more stable air around it is going to be a little bit warmer out there nothing spectacular but mid-20s could be seen by some there is still the risk of some hefty showers maybe later on this week into the weekend again we are going to see some low pressure nearby it's just about how much of an influence that low pressure will be still conflicting views with that but we will look at that on the latest ukv as said in a few moments time Beyond that, we'll have a look at the latest longer range charts, which again continue to show pretty much a flat westerly as we progress towards the end of the month and in towards the start of August. But the uncertainty is how far north will the jet stream go? The wind or direction will be coming in from the west. So air masses are never going to be too far away from average, but it's how dry will it be? How much high pressure will we see extending in from the Azores? As we saw in yesterday's video, really intense high pressure from the GFS. Some of the runs today a little bit less so uh, in terms of their, how bullish they are with that higher pressure again we'll sort of check that out in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy videos which do like and subscribe now if you start on the live radar you can see for most a much drier day today still some showers around especially across central and east england and across southern parts of the republic of ireland most of these are light to moderate in intensity but a few are quite hefty and a little bit thundery out there so a few still reds and yellows appearing and a few bits of oranges so still some intense rain out there but it's a lot more localized um, and nowhere near as widespread as it's been over the past few days if you look at the temperatures we're calling this around half seven you can see it's warm today nothing spectacular feeling like summer in the sunshine but definitely you know nothing really to shout home about it is just generally average summertime temperatures now, if you head over to the latest UKV now, you can see those showers fizzling away through this evening. Perhaps a little bit of an uptick there across the far southwest, but some instability from the Republic of Ireland clearing through. But generally, most of that rain will have cleared by sunrise tomorrow. As we progress into Wednesday afternoon, again, similar today, most areas will be dry, a little bit more of an increased cloud cover, and again, a few odd showers across the far southwest or the far east, and scattered showers elsewhere. So for most, still nothing too bad. As we progress in towards Thursday, again, a few showers down the east coast, but generally, again, pretty dry with some sunshine. And then as we progress into Friday, again, looking very dry and pretty spectacular there with a bit of sunshine around. Into Saturday, a little bit more in the way of showers. Again, a few hefty, but again, generally speaking, nothing too crazy. Sunday, though, start seeing influence of a little bit of low pressure and you can see what that does it brings a much more widespread risk of heavy showers and thunderstorms again first time i'm seeing this on the uk visa perhaps it's just this one run that develops this small area of low pressure but it just shows you what could happen if that jet stream does slip ever so slightly southwards here if we put on the pressure charts you can see just a small little low just to our south developing within the flow and suddenly we see a big outbreak of showers and storms so things like this can crop up at very short notice this time of year so although yes we suspect it will be generally drier and generally a westerly flow with oscillating high pressure low pressure nothing spectacular still is the possibility of a pattern like this to crop up and you can see some really hefty thundery showers appearing there and again would be probably be seeing similar conditions to what we've seen over the past few days uh, in this sort of scenario but again this is one to keep a close eye on as i suspect some runs will not have anything going on at all other runs like this ukv have got a lot of activity of course now do look at the max temperatures this afternoon YD high teens low 20 so pretty decent conditions out there as we progress into wednesday similar conditions maybe a little bit warmer 23 24 possible in a few spots into thursday still looking not too bad 24 25 into friday 
maybe up towards 28. So a little bit of homegrown warmth appearing there. Saturday, 27, and finally into Sunday again, 26, 27, where we avoid those showers. So not looking too bad over the coming days. Some warm temperatures at times, but nothing too spectacular. And again, we'll just have to keep a very close eye on, of course, those showers and storms into the weekend. But for most, it is a drier and more settled next few days. Not wall to wall sunshine, but Decent conditions, in my opinion, not too oppressive either. So definitely a bonus there. Now, as we progress into longer range, this sort of pattern does look like it could continue. As we'll check out the latest GFS now, you can see a westerly flow with high pressure sat to our south, low pressure to our north, and a flat westerly wind. If we put on the 200 HPA winds, just seeing coming, uh, just see this wind coming straight in from northeast Canada. It's just how does this jet stream move, and where does it sit? Is it to our north, encouraging high pressure to extend in from the Azores, or does it sli sit slightly further southwards, allowing lower pressure to crash in? Now you can see it kind of oscillates here, a little bit of low pressure, high pressure, low pressure, with the jet stream generally hovering over the top of us, maybe towards Scotland kind of area. As we progress into the extended range into late July, early August, a bit of low pressure sinking southwards here for the final day of July, and then eventually high pressure shifting northwards by early August. Uh, again, potentially a bit of an interesting setup with a bit of a little cutoff low developing. Could be a bit of a thundery pattern if that sort of jumps a little bit closer. But generally speaking, this is pretty dry and the temperatures would start to reciprocate because the wind direction isn't a flat westerly by this point it's more of a southerly wind and that's because the jet stream has lifted to our north you can see here it's just skimming parts of scotland with a little bit of a dip in the jet stream that allows more of a southerly flow to develop and that's why it starts going a little bit hotter and you can see this pool is getting drawn up from north africa so you see little deviations of the jet stream still can develop some hot conditions at times but i must say as we'll see with the ensembles in a few moments time it's definitely not favored but gfs just shows that it is a possibility it's the one that's got a lot of encouragement at the moment if we do compare to the gm again oscillating between high pressure low pressure similar to the gfs again a little bit more low pressure there towards the end of the month it could be a little bit more of an unsettled spell there for the last couple of days of july and then eventually high pressure tries to nudge in but again another low starts to just drift in from the north so again we'll have a look at that in a little bit more detail nearer the time if you look at the latest ecmwf quickly refresh this as the day 10 hopefully has come out and yes it has again the westerly flow with some higher pressure shifting up from the south again a bit of a shift there towards day 10 again this low pressure nudging south so definitely favoring a bit of a dip in the jet stream there Perhaps around the last day of the month, first day of August, with this low moving through, northerly wind, so it could be cool and unsettled, but equally there's some warm, humid air getting trapped within it. So a subtle shift in this wind direction uh, and positioning of this low, then perhaps it could turn a little bit hot, humid and thundery. So again, little things like that this time of year, little shifts can make all the difference. Now, finally, if we look at the latest ensembles, you can see what I mean. Average temperatures over the next couple of weeks, not really deviating too much from the ensemble mean. Generally speaking, precipitation is fairly low. Still some showers around, so I don't think it's going to be zero, but we're not going to see you know, huge walls of rain, especially further southwards. Longer term, a little bit more deviation appearing, some warmer runs, and those were the runs like the uh, end of the GFS, which tries to drag up some heat, but nothing too spectacular at this stage. If we look generally at sea level pressure, you see hovering around higher pressure for london but not spectacularly high pressure you know it's around 1020 millibars so it is higher pressure but not 1025 1030 millibars getting towards the level where we would see lots of sunshine and bone dry conditions for all there's a few runs there but nothing too major at this stage and finally if we check out the latest ecmwf it's pretty similar again temperatures hovering in and around average a little bit of a dip there around the end of the month and precipitation still fairly low um but a little bit higher here perhaps because there's more ensemble members but also perhaps a little bit more influence from lower pressure especially towards the start of august so check this out in a lot more detail over the coming days again expecting there to be some deviations most likely will not stick this close to the ensemble uh, to the 1991 2020 mean it will probably shift nearer the time but again that's something we'll look at in more detail as we do progress towards the end of the month so anyway, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon